हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल माय ट्विटर आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपके अपने चैनल माय ट्विटर पर फ्रेंड्स दो सो आर न्यू टू माय चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस द न्यू अपडेट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आवर टुडेज टॉपिक ओके सो क्लास आज का जो टॉपिक है हमारा इट्स अबाउट मॉडलिंग टूल सो टूडे वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज दिस this modeling tool kit okay so let's start i'll just take a box and uh, the purpose of modeling tool kit is basically it will provide you each and every option which is required by us again and again so wo sare ke sare options jo hai it is right lying in front of you you don't need to search again and again getting into mesh tool or getting into mesh or edit mesh and so on so that is the plus point of using this modeling toolkit and lot many okay so we have like uh, the combine option now from the symbol we can make it out it is like combining two objects so what i'll do here is i'll just take one more object here and uh, i'll just scale it so this is like to separate object and uh, i'll hold the shift command and select both of them and i'll say simple combine so now you can see here it's in green color so both of them i have selected and now you can move it so that is the purpose of doing combine all right next what we have is a separate now the one which you have combined that can be separated out with the help of the separate button uh, click on this button you can see here the objects has been separated out and also one more thing you can figure it out key this pivot point is exactly where the i mean it is sharing the same point of both box as well as sphere also okay so if in case if you wish to change the pivot point of the object back to its center pivot point get into modify and click on center pivot so it's back here again and same goes for box 2 after it we have smooth smooth basically it will subdivide and it will add more number of segments into your object but yes definitely it will make your hard surface object into a smooth object like for an example on the in the case of box i'll just apply uh, smooth and you can see here automatically it will be turn up like kind of sphere only i'm just increasing the number of subdivision so since it was not having earlier those those number of segments to hold the cube structure so it it get converted into a sphere so it is like as per the requirement and the requirement all right so that was about mesh okay so we can see here it is categorized mesh components tools and like that so we have like what we have in menus okay so that is there uh, next thing is about components so definitely it will work with the vertices faces edges and like that okay so i'll just keep this uh, sphere aside for the time being and uh, what i'll do here is oh i just forgot to mention about boolean okay select this two objects so holding shift button and i'll just click on this boolean operation now as soon as i click on boolean i can see here i'll press 4 for this wireframe so you can make it out key the one which is merge or which is like inside the bo uh, box or a cube it got merged okay it, it become one object that is union so now next is like uh, i can just change this operation by just clicking on this difference so now this is a different it is subtracting right this is subtracted part and this is the intersection intersection is the part which is commonly covered in both the areas all right so that is what it is union and or about boolean right so i have i hope this thing is very much clear and uh, next what i'll do is i'll move on for the extrude so i'll just go for the right click i will go for the face and i'll just click on this extrude so it's similar what we were using it earlier also so it is the same thing again i'll go here and i can easily 
click use this modeling toolkit that is the best part of using this toolkit okay so that is there and in fact uh, what else you can do is you can i'm using this transformation tool and uh, hold shift and move along with the axis so you can make it out key this object is getting extruded any of the axis okay depending where you want to extrude right also you can work the same thing with rotate also so i'll just make it this way like this after that you just move it ahead same thing we can do it with the scale also hold the shift and you can have this inset all right so that is how you can use the shortcut keys with the extrude all right so that was there about extrude next coming up is the bevel bevel you can apply it individual uh, faces edges selected edges or the complete object also i just select this face and i'll just click on this bevel so now you can see this bevel effect it's very nice effect you can increase the number of segments you can have this depth also so you can go in the minus value also for that in that case if required so this is how this bevel is used and in case if you work if you want to work with the edges also you can do that also so in that case what you can do is you can just select edges hold the shift button and select the number of edges and i'll again go for the bevel you can see here very beautifully it has been assigned applied i will say and they can have segments also in that case back to object mode so that was about bevel and uh, next is bridge so for bridge what i'll do here is i'll make a duplicate of this bridge i'll just press ctrl d and take the move tool and this is right over here all right I'll, i would like to bridge between this face to this face okay so first of all for making a bridge you need to combine the object so select both of them first and click on combine so now this is one single object now go for the face you can select face you can select edges also in that case for applying a bridge command so this is a bridge okay so you can have this number of division and i can even have this taper value also but it won't come up nicely because uh, the curve type is linear so if you make it blend now i can see here the divisions the tapering part okay and the twisting part also all right so that is there about the bridge next what i have is <clears throat> it's about multi-cut tool all right so for multi-cut tool what you can do is you can get into this simple multi-cut tool you can go with the individual vertices or edges or you can even work with the polygon faces also all right so what i can do here is i'll just click here and click here and right click for applying it okay same thing goes here also click here and click here right click and it is applied so that way and if you wish to uh, work from the center of the edge hold the shift button okay shift and again click and right click to finish it up so this way you can like do a lot of thing with multi-cut tool all right so this is how you can go for individual cuts and if you wish to have a ring of selection or loop so you can do that also hold the control button and simply click it that's it and it is done horizontal vertical however you want it if you hold the shift button you will come to know it will take the center point and if you hold shift and control the automatically this will take the center point and uh, you can have a edge loop right at the center so that is the purpose of using shift and control button okay so this is how you can use this multi-cut tool after that you can see here is the target weld target weld can be applied to the edges and as well as to the 
what is this also okay so what you can do is i'll just go for the target build and i can see here like uh, this edges are getting selected since i'm into edge selection mode so just apply it that's it and this will be done and if you wish to go with the vertex just right click go for the vertex and you can work with the vertex also i just click and drag and this is done so this is how it is going to apply in short all right next what we have is the connect connect works with the edges as well as with the vertex also so make sure key if you're using vertex so nothing comes in between so then only it will get connected otherwise it won't connect it press enter to finish if you if you are into edge mode select the edges and just click on this connect button so you can see here it is connected and if you if you wish to have more segments press the middle mouse button and just drag it so you can have left right direction okay have more number of segment once that is done press enter to finish so you can have more number of segments or edges into your object so that is the purpose of using connect next what we have is the quadra quadra it's uh, i'll say retopology stuff which i'll cover up in the next video okay so i hope guys this things is very much clear to everyone and if in case if you feel like doubts any queries any questions if you have do mention in the comment box i hope you have understood the modeling toolkit in maya also i am coming up with one more video of introduction to particles in maya so subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for new upcoming videos click on thumbs up for like and share it with your friends if any queries write it in the comment box thank you so much for watching my video मिलते हैं कुछ और एक्स्ट्रा टिप्स एंड टिक्स के साथ अगले वीडियो में थैंक यू